Hey guys, I'm out here again today, and I'm going to be showing you a survival tool that you might um, use if there's ever an apocalypse. So let's get started. Okay, so if you're ever in a survival situation and it's at night, or if you need light in some situation, uh, I actually just realized I need to get a lighter, so I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and I actually switched things up a little bit because my lighter's not working, and... So I've got matches instead, and um, <clears throat> I needed something to prop up my camera, so I came up here to this table. So hopefully these matches are enough, but, so today we got this, um, uh, crayon, and basically what you're gonna do first is, this is, I have to use a couple matches, that's why I'm hoping this will work, um, I'm gonna, the match broke, wow. I need to conserve these here, and the first time I used it, it broke. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. You're gonna light it up. You're gonna melt the candle wax and let some of it drip onto the um, plate. Yeah, this should be enough. This is melting really nice. Okay, come on, candle. <sighs> okay, that's enough. So, um, to show you what I got here, I put some. Uh, wax on there, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take your um, your uh, candle or your crayon, and you're gonna want to put it in the wax so it has something to stand up on, just like that. And okay, I have one match left, so hopefully this one will stay lit or not br break. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna light up the paper around the match or around the. Uh... Please don't go out. Come on. There we go. This is why it would work better, excuse my dog by the way, this is why it would work better with a, um, a, um, lighter. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to figure out a way to use my lighter, because it's not working. Hold on. Trying to figure, oh, there we go. Got a flame. So it's a little bit hard to light up, actually. That's the problem is I might have had to melt a little bit more wax on it. But now my lighter's working, so this should start to work in a second here. Whenever the paper catches on fire, that's when it should start working. Okay, there we go. Now Windsor's not going to be barking too much. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now you have yourself a little candle. And by the looks of it, it's probably going to burn for a while because there's obviously a lot of wax in the candle or the um, crayon. And so basically, if you're needing to read something or you want to keep a little bit of light at night and you have a crayon laying around, then you also have a candle laying around. And um, so I'm, I'm probably actually going to time this to see how long it burns. So, yeah, I'll let you know when it gets down. Okay, so, um, the wind was blowing really hard, and it blew it out. And I think one of the problems is that right up here, it starts to kind of, like, turn into, like, this weird... I'm not even sure what you would call it. So, I think what you would need to do is you got to take your knife, probably, if you have a knife in a survival situation most of the time you do, and just cut off that little piece. See if I can get more of it. I just don't want to cut myself. There we go. Okay, so, once you cut it off, it probably... Hold on. There's some stuff on my blade now. Whatever, I'll clean that up anyway. But, um, or later. But, so, if your candle goes out, you'll probably want to reset it by, um, cutting off that black, uh, charred part, I guess. Because, see, then, then, um, it really goes really nice, as you can see. So if it's windy outside, although most likely you'll find shelter in a survival situation and you won't be outside. So it probably won't, you won't have this problem. There's just a lot of wind right now. But so if your candle burns out, just take a knife and just cut that piece off and you should be better off. Or, you know what, I'm going to try something. I'm going to light it from the bottom and see what it does. 
Actually, that's probably not a good idea because it'll burn pretty quick because this acts like a wick. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I'm going to time it again. Okay, guys. Well, in conclusion, it's kind of a pain to time because it keeps going out because the wind is so bad. As you can see, it's like blowing sideways. Um, it is pretty wind resistant, though, I will say, because it can withstand a little bit of wind. Um, but once it gets too high, it'll go out. But based on what I've seen on the internet and the size of the candle left to burn, uh, if there wasn't any wind, it should burn for over 30 minutes, um, which is a pretty long time. It also produces a good amount of heat. If you want to warm up your hands or you just put your face a little bit close to it, you can warm your face up. Um, but it obviously burns pretty well because it acts as a candle because of the wax from the crayon as well as the, um, the paper that acts like a wick. Um, and so basically, um, if it, um, goes out because of wind or something, well, probably wind, because if, if it went out because of water, you wouldn't be able to relight it, because it'd be saturated th at that point. So, um, if it goes out because of wind, just take a knife, just cut that little charred piece off, and it'll keep burning pretty nice. Um, as you can see, the flame is pretty high. So I'm trying to think of other things you could use it for. You might be able to use it to light up um, a campfire. Um, probably not cook anything. You might be able to, but I don't think it's a strong enough flame. But um, it obviously works. I don't recommend doing this inside, though, because it does release some black smoke. Um, and you don't want your smoke detectors to go off. But this is a really cool experiment, and I honestly didn't even think it was going to work as well as it's working right now. See, see that black smoke that's coming off of it? I might be able to see it against my hand. But anyway. So yeah, it's a pretty strong flame. <coughs> um, and also, it does not have a bad smell, which is good. Because um, before, when I lighted up those Doritos, that was probably one of the most awful smells ever. But this, um, this doesn't really smell bad. It, you know what a crayon smells like if you've ever smelled one as a kid. Or if you pick one up. Or if you have crayon stuff on your fingers and you smell your fingers. Um, but it basically, it smells like a crayon. It doesn't smell bad. And honestly, crayons are kind of good smelling a little bit. Because I think it reminds you of your childhood, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but it smells good. I mean, it's definitely not bad at all. But if it goes out, then all you got to do... Oh gosh, it makes a lot of smoke when it goes out. What you got to do if it goes out is you got to just grab it like that. And just chop that little piece off. And there's a lot of wax all over my knife now. I'll clean that up later. But, um, then you just relight it like this. Come on. And it lights up pretty quick. And then give it like 10 seconds and it'll become a bigger flame. And boom. Alright guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um... It was kind of hard to do, obviously, because the wind is so bad today. But um, I really like this idea for a survival candle. So uh, let me know if you guys think this is cool. Thumbs up this video, and I will see you guys later. Okay, guys, actually, one more thing to add. Um, I watched, I sat out here and uh, watched it burn, and it ended up burning for about 30 minutes. So it looks like what they said online was correct. So yeah, this trick really does work.